Hello YouTube, Conductor 165 here. Now before I start the video, I owe you all an apology. It turns out that upon reviewing this engine, I have been getting learning curve and take along and take and play all mixed up. So for example, I'd review an engine by learning curve, but instead I'd talk about its take and play and take along variation, which is inaccurate. I am very sorry about this, and I will be putting these engines that I've already reviewed back into the roster to be chosen by you guys for me to review next. I'm very sorry for this inconvenience, and these the videos that are wrong will still be up, so you can review them. Hopefully you still enjoy the content I make anyway. With that apology out of the way, today we are talking about the engine that won the vote. Learning Curve Mavis. This engine was first produced in 2003 to 2009 in the US, and for the UK was produced between 2005 and 2009. Mavis was in a multi-pack, only one, called Jack Jumps In. And on screen now are the prototypes. It turns out this engine had two prototypes. And I must say, the one with the red cow catchers, I'm not quite fond of. And on screen now is the 2003 box. The 2004 box. and the 2007 box. Upon learning the dates of this engine, I've come to realize why it is so rare as people say it is. Because in the UK alone, it was only produced for four years. I picked this engine up for two quid at a car boot sale. And look at the detail on this thing. The Farquhar Quarry Co Limited, Mavis. All the engine details with the white painted um, handrails, yeah there we go, on the top too, you have the nice funnel, and look at that face, how nice and cheery is that face, with painted buffers and unipole couplers, meaning they'll couple any which way, same as the other side, six wheels, now there's one thing I don't like about the back of Mavis, Mavis is meant to have windows in the back of her cab, and before I did this video and I learned that I got learning curve and the others mixed up, the later editions of Mavis by other companies had rear windows. So that makes this rare. You can see there the unipole magnet and buffers again. If we look on top, a bit plain. It looks like the, the, they could have been they could have made a talking version with this here, because that could be the button. And underneath, it's upside down. Mavis, 2003 Ghislaine Thomas Limited, learning curve, it's actually quite a nice engine, I love the chunkiness of this engine, it's very heavy, and it's quite, I just like the look of it, it's, it's, it suits Mavis really well, and if we put sideways as well, you can see the cow catchers are there too, I just think the detail on this model is very well done. You've got glazing in the windows too, so you can actually see inside. But because of no rear windows, that's not possible. And before you say that there is one, that's just a reflection of the one from the other side. Otherwise, you'd see on that side. I quite like Mavis. I just feel like they nailed this model just right. And considering the rarity, I understand why people go crazy for this model now. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. And again, I'll have the other videos sorted throughout my tour on YouTube. And I hope you enjoyed watching. See you in the next video. Bye.